Hey, thanks for joining us for the Vital Dome's 24 foot instructional. We're going to be building the dome from the top down today, showing you the simplest way to put this thing together. Notice that everything's color coded, so empty out all the pull bags, or we like to call them struts, arrange them by color, and then follow the guideline book on pages 6, 7, 8, and 9. Especially these pages 7 and 9, as that shows you layer, laid out row by row the color codes you're going to use. Before we get too far, I do want to remind you that you will want a 9 16th wrench and a 9 16th socket, or preferably a socket driver, and as, as well you'd like to have a 12 foot A-frame ladder. It makes things a lot easier as you go. When we start out the build, you're going to notice that each of the color codes at the end of the tab is bent in. So start with five, lay those out in a, as pictured, connect those, but don't secure them all the way, keep them loose. At the bottom of each red strut, you'll connect in clockwise order, blue, black, blue, black, blue, creating your full circle. Refer to page 5 for instructions on connecting the bolt with the nut and the two washers. Make sure the nut is always on the inside of the dome structure. Continue to refer to page 6, 7, and 8 in the instructions and you'll notice that the dome actually starts lifting itself into place. At this time you've got three rows done and here's where you want to put the top cap on. Unroll the top cap and lay it across the entire top three rows of your dome. And be sure to insert the air vent cap at this time. This allows the moisture to go out. And that'll be directed right above the red joints. That's the top center. A good quick tip is to make sure you go back and tighten all the nuts and bolts for the top two rows as you continue construction. Refer back to your book, pages 8 and 9 as you will want to use those to lay out the next two rows, which are the final two rows of the dome. Lift back the cover and go ahead and start placing those rows in and you'll notice that it actually lifts the dome into place. You'll want at least three people to complete this construction phase as each of the struts or poles will be used as a jack stand along with the help of your lifters. As you lift the last row into place and connect all the struts, you'll notice there are no doors. We'll cover the door instructions in the next video, uh, which shows how to build all three sets of doors if you're using a three-door dome or just a single door. The doors are the same. Once completed with the construction of the frame, you'll go back through and tighten all the nuts and bolts. Congratulations, the hard part is over. Now you'll get to actually attach the walls. You'll do this by unpacking the one or three door wall set and zipping it section by section into the top roof and then folding over the velcro flap. You'll then insert the insert or the passive solar windows depending on which you have and what the season is following the same process. Zip and then tie down the velcro flaps. Last, put down your stakes to keep it from blowing away. Enjoy your Vital Dome and thank you for being part of the Vital Dome family.